Well, hi, guess what? It's Geek and Son. <laughs> Somebody told me my videos are a little too boring. So what do I need to do, jumping jacks? No. So, yes, this is my uh, Chevy Silverado 2500. This marker light is out right here, okay? So I, took, so I took this air box off, thinking I could fish my hand in behind here. Guess what, you can't. So I just started taking these clips off I'm gonna take this panel off. So let's take a look. And you'll find out at the same time I do if it's gonna work. I don't know. Okay. Lighting's not the greatest in here, but it's what we've got. I'm taking these clips out, I got this little puller. A bunch of these plastic tabs. You basically you pull the top part out, you don't wanna break it, and then they just pull out. Well, not like that. Kinda like that, but not like that. See? Okay. I think I missed this one. They're basically reusable rivets. Okay. I'm going to get them out so you can pull this little panel off. I don't think I've ever had to pull this off this truck, but I don't know. Hmm. It's really stubborn. Blue! One more little surprise just for you! Alfonso Rivero! Don't lose them or it won't go back on. And this panel just pulls right off. Now, can we reach the lights? You're about to find out with me, because I don't know. See the light here. Well, still. Is there an easy way to get to them? Did I mention thank you for subscribing? <laughs> well, that ain't it. I don't think that's it either. Boy, I must be really getting dumb. I've never taken it off this truck before. That looked like it was the way to get it off. I guess we're gonna have to take a break and I'm gonna have to do some more research because I don't get it. Hold on. Hello again. So, we're looking at this, trying to get this marker light out, right? And I'm looking and I'm thinking, man, do I have to pull this whole grill off? That sucks. Can't be right. Well, good, because I wasn't right. What they got, all you gotta do is take the air box out. Now, if you look at this, this air box is cracked. I'm not sure how that happened. It's just one of those things that uh, happens. <laughs> but if you look, I already took off that panel. So if you ever want to look in there, that's what it looks like. And I didn't need to take those bolts out, which I did, which I'll, I'll stick back in there. But I was thinking I could just pull it off right here, but that wasn't the case. You need to pull out the air box and then you reach your hand back in that hole and then you can reach the marker lights. So let's see if I can set that up so you guys can see it. 
and I'll do that. I apologize for the lighting, but that's what you get. Anybody have a spare lid to a 2015 Silverado airbox? I think I'm gonna get some gloves too. I guess we're gonna take out the whole grill because I cannot reach it with my hand. So here we go. All this to change a mar marker light is ridiculous. It's been out for probably at least a month. I'm ready to just leave it out. You're watching one of these bolts go off, right? I mean, it's only four bolts, but it just seems like a heck of a lot to get to a light. You know what? I, I might be doing it wrong right now. I really was pretty sure you wouldn't have to do this. Huh? What did you do? See that? Now, again, I could be doing this the wrong way. From what I researched, you should be able to reach in through this hole, but not with my giant gorilla hands. So, let's change the light bulb. You guys know how to change the light bulb? How many geeks does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> one to hold it and three others to spin the geek around? You ever heard that one? Come on. Fortunately, these are just pull out. Ta -da! New one. Just slides right back in. Just to press in. Like that. See, all I do is press it in there. Easy. I wasn't even gonna make a video of this, but it turned out to be more difficult than I thought. So I'm like, well, I better make a video. Somebody else needs to see this too. Let's get it back in that hole and then turn it clockwise. And it'll be so easy. I don't believe it either. The lighting here today is bad for sure. with the headlamp. Okay. Now, if I was smart, I would check the lights. But, uh, yeah. All right, I'll check the lights. Check it out, I'm missing one over here. Well, here's what's funny. They work great now, <laughs> but there's one out over here. Let me check. I gotta change it. So something interesting I learned is there's a third bolt on the headlight bucket thing. See back there? There's a flashlight. Through the grill. And if I would have kept forcing it like I was, probably would have broke that tab off. And somebody I think has probably been in here before. Cause... So now I'm gonna zip that back through the grill. Actually, I can put the grill back now too, hopefully. Not destroying it. All this for one stupid burned out light bulb. It's a parking light. Ridiculous.
yeah, it is. It is definitely out. So I'm gonna have to tear this side apart too. Unless I can reach it. Maybe I can reach it on this side. Let's find out. I again apologize for the light situation in here. It's horrible. We may not even use this video. So I take these headlight bolts out, I probably can reach it. But then I'm gonna have to take the ones I just put back in for the grill out. Unless I can reach it. Oh, I think I can. I think I can. Chugging along. It's another one of those. Twist ones. I would hate to have to take the grill and everything back off. It looks like I can reach it from here. Barely. Somebody's definitely been in here before. To love watching a struggle. Aha! I got it. Frustrated. Stupid light bulb. They're both broken. I must have broken it when I pulled them out. Goody. Alright, well. Top of the parts store.